So we're on lesson 16-4, which is working on lines of symmetry. So like always, we've done our guided practice in class. Let's head to our independent practice. So for number 8 through 11, it says, tell whether each line is a line of symmetry. So this one right here, if I fold it in half, I'll see that this left side will be exactly the same as this right side. So that means that this is, yes, going to be a line of symmetry. For number nine, let's check. If I fold this right here along this line, is that a line of symmetry? The answer is no, because this side is not the same as this side. It's almost the same, but it has this little extra spot right here. So this one's a no, because it won't be the exact same when we fold them. All right, if we fold on this line, is it the same? Yeah, this part will be the same as this part. This part will be the same as that part. So this one is a yes for a line of symmetry. For number 11, this one's our simplest. Will the left side be the same as the right side? This one is a yes as well. For number 12 to 19, decide whether each figure is line symmetric. Draw and tell me lines of symmetry each one has. So first we're going to see, does that have a line of symmetry? And then we need to draw it. So here, this one I can split right down the middle. That is my line of symmetry. So our answer is yes, and it has one line. For number 13, let's check. This one's a little different. I can split it right across this way. But I can also split it. And actually, let me switch the colors. I can also split it this way. So this side is the same as this side. So that's two lines of symmetry. But look, there's actually a third line of symmetry that I can split right through here as well. So that means this side the same as this side. So how many do we have? Well, we have three lines of symmetry. So that means our answer is a yes for this one. For number 14, let's check. I can split it right down the middle right here. And then I can also split it horizontally across this way. So this one is a yes as well. And it has two lines. For number 15, we have a clove or a clover, so I can split down right there. That's my only line of symmetry. Any other way, my top part won't be the same as the bottom, or the left won't be the same as the right. So this one is a yes, but it has just one line of symmetry. Heading on to number 16. This one is also a yes, but it only has one line of symmetry like the last one. I can only split it right there down the middle. For number 17, this is a snowflake. This one has a lot. Every single point, I can cut it so it's a line of symmetry. So here is one line of symmetry. Here is two lines of symmetry. Here is three lines of symmetry. But now you'll notice there's actually even some other ones hidden inside. I can actually split it right down this way as well. you notice then I'll have one, two, three spots here and one two, three spots here. So there's four lines of symmetry. I can also split along this way for five lines of symmetry. And my last one, let's pick that color. I can split it right across. So this one actually has six different lines of symmetry. Number 18, this one is no. There are no lines of symmetry that can be produced. Every way I try to cut it, the left side or the top side won't be the same as the other side. So now let's go to our last one, number 19. What does this have? This one has one we can split right down the middle here. Another one we can split right here. And then I can also split it horizontally as well. So there's three. And our last one is four. So this one has four lines which means this is a yes, it has lines of symmetry. Heading on to our next page. The Thomas Jefferson Memorial is located in Washington, D.C. Use the picture of the memorial at the right to decide whether the building is line symmetric. If so, describe what line symmetric is. So our answer is yes. There actually is a line of symmetry based on just this picture. So what is it? I can split it. 
straight down the middle. Now, some of you might be saying, well, it's not completely symmetric because if I zoom in right here, Mr. Abraham Lincoln's face wouldn't be the same on the left as this on the right. But we're just looking at like the overall shape of it. So for this one, we're going to say, yes, our answer is there is a line of symmetry. And what we'll write, since it says describe where the line of symmetry is, is it runs vertically. from the top center of the dome to the bottom. And you'll see that's what our picture looked like when we went from the top straight to the bottom. So now it says name the type of triangle outlined in green in the picture of the memorial. So we're looking at this green guy right here. So it's asking what kind of triangle is that? Well, remember, if we have two sides that are the same, because this side's the same as this side, that is an isosceles. But then we also need to say the kind of angle it has. And I'll notice this angle right here is a rather big angle. It's bigger than 90 degrees, so that means it's an obtuse. So it's an isosceles obtuse triangle. Now for number 22. How can you tell when a line is not a line of symmetry? Well, remember, our line of symmetry means if we fold the shape, the left side has to be the same as the right, or the top has to be as the bottom. So that's going to be our basis for our answer. So when you fold the shape, and it does have to be a shape. It could be figure or item. But when you fold the shape along the line, the two parts on, actually, I'm going to like the word either instead of both. The two parts on either side will not match up exactly. And our keyword there is exactly. So remember, they have to be the exact same. Now, for number 23, how many lines of symmetry can a parallelogram have? Explain. Well, a parallelogram could have a parallelogram could have four lines of symmetry. And what would that be? Well, that would be a square, so like this. A parallelogram could have two lines of symmetry. Oops, I forgot to draw a four for that square, in which case it's a rectangle. Or if it's like this shape, there actually isn't a line of symmetry because right here, that would be zero lines. You'll notice this side is not going to be the same as this other side. It's going to be a little lopsided like that. So. Our answer is 0, 2, or 4. So we're going to say most parallelograms. Oops, sorry, my phone's going off. Most parallelograms have zero lines of symmetry. And remember, most parallelograms are like that shape. Rectangles and rhombuses and hopefully I spell rhombuses right. Rectangles and rhombuses have two lines of symmetry. Remember that's like this one right there. And squares have how many lines? They have four. All right, so now we're on to our last one, number 24 and 25. Which of these figures has six lines of symmetry? Draw lines as needed. Well, this one right here has one, two, 
three. So it's not right here. This one right here, we have one, two, three, four, but not six. Over here, we have one. We have how many sides? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ah, this is a seven-sided shape. So this one you'll notice, actually, let me count again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Doesn't have as many lines of symmetry. So here we have one for the star, two, three, four, five, six. So this one has our six lines of symmetry. You'll notice with this one down here for D, because it has seven sides, our line of symmetry, oops, if we break it up right here down the middle, it will have this side the same, this side, this side, this side, this side. So there's one. And then we could do the same for this one right here. Two, three, four, five, six. There's one more I missed because there should be one for each vertex. So one, two, ah. So this one actually has seven lines, which is not that six that we were looking for. All right. For A, let's check this one out. Which figure is not line symmetric? So which one does not have a line of symmetry? Well, this one you'll notice, we have a line of symmetry right here if we fold it. This one has a line of symmetry right here. For C, our line of symmetry is actually right down the middle. So that means we're left with D. D is the only one that doesn't have a line of symmetry. If we fold it in half right here, this top part's not going to be the same down here. If we cut it in half this way, this part has a gap, but this part doesn't have a gap over there. So our answer is D. Good job, guys.